Hello guys, and welcome to a new Let's Play that I have decided that I wanted to start that wouldn't be Pokemon. Well, basically, this is a game called Reseteer, as you can see by the title screen, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's so fabulous, it's so good, I really enjoyed this game. Uh, basically, I played this, like, a few years ago, back, like, two years ago, when I, when it first, well, I'm not sure when it came out, but I played it, like, two years ago after Space Hamster decided to make a video on it, and it is so good. I, I've wanted to do a series on this ever since I got it. Like, on my old channel, I, like, even have recording of, like, a first episode that I made. But, anyway, uh, I, I want to just give you guys, like, a heads up of what this is, and we'll get started. So, let's make a new game, and we'll just watch that amazing disc loading screen. So good, so good, guys. So good. So good! Bum. Ooh. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Ba -dum, dum, dum, da -dum. I love this. And we're introduced to Tia, who's, like... She's like, yeah, you'll find out. Oh, for the love of... She's still asleep. Sigh. Does she really not understand how important today is? <laughs> Can't eat another bite. <laughs> but I can always find room for yummy candy. Mimble Wobble. What the fuck is a Mimble Wobble? Oh my lord. WAKE UP PLEASE! <laughs> oh my god, wow. Oh dear, good morning. We do not have time for good morning, Reset. Are you planning on spending the rest of your life dreaming of sweets? Today is the day we set for opening the store. Uh, we did? Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> oh my god, it's been like two years since I played this, so like... Like, and this is still, like, new to me, technically. Well, it's not new, but it is new, if you know what I mean. Listen, go wash your face and make yourself presentable, and then join me downstairs in the storefront. Okay, I'll be right down. Yes! Oh, this is, like, so nostalgic. I love this game. Oh, it's even running really quick as well. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. Okay, Tier, let's open the shop right now. Capitalism <laughs> I remember this! <laughs> Patience, Reset. It is a virtue you will need. We need to take care of a few matters before we open officially. Huh? Like what? <laughs> well, I somehow doubt that a store without anything to sell is going to attract all that much business. Uh... Oh yeah, we don't have anything to sell! So, uh... What do we do? To start with, we need to establish a stock of items for the store. If we have nothing to sell, we cannot claim to be much of a shop. That's true. Hmm. Was that, where should we go to get stocked up? The best way, I think, would be to either visit the town market or the merchant's guild. We need to give our regards to the head of the guild regardless, so that should probably be our first stop. Oh, the guard's the place that's run by the old guy, right? The guild operates as a wholesaler for local merchants, so if we stop by, we can pr purchase an initial stock. But not to her to... what? To grover. What the heck is a grover? Give our polite regards to the guild chief either. Especially since the guild is the organization that allows us to operate here in the first place. Okay, got it! Then let's go, right now! When you want to leave the shop, head to the front. Okay. As you guys can probably tell, this is... Ah, but I wanted to leave through the window like an action hero. To eternity and... <laughs> Reset! <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, guys, like, as you can probably tell, this is a game about an item shop, which this little girl here is running. And I'm not going to spoil anything, but basically you'll find out why she's running an item shop later. And yeah, there's a lot of cool mechanics that are in integrated into this. Hello! Hmm, a girl and a fairy. You two are... Yes, you're reset in that loan shark. <laughs> While that is not... Well, an incorrect assessment. Could I ask that you refrain from calling me a loan shark? That's right, mister. She and I are partners. Don't be me. Ha ha ha. Forgive me. Forgive me. Partners it is. So how are the preparations for running that shop coming along? Quite well, thank you. In fact, we plan on opening today, so we may, sp uh, we may stop by... Uh, we stop by to show our gratitude for your help. Ah, very good. You two know what's what. If you have any problems, let me know. I'll be glad to help. We appreciate your kindness. Thank you. 
Uh, be a bit, a bit, a bit. But yeah, um, like I said, I played this for the first time like two years ago, and it was like, <laughs> it was so good. Right, um, I think this is the bit where, yeah, you have to buy a load of stock for your shop, otherwise you can't actually complete the game. You have to buy a load of stuff here, and, like, yeah. Uh, you can also talk to them for some reason, but there's literally, like, no reason to, because I know what it all is. You'll find out about all of this fusion stuff and other things later on, and it's just so fun to play. Uh, now, normally the best thing to do here is to buy one of the long sword, buy the long sword, and buy a worn sword. So you completely throw out your picks, which is like the money of this place. It's called picks, and yeah, once you've done that, like you end up, you end up like speculating to accumulate, and you have to like sell things. Yep, this is perfect. We shall return when our stocks run low again. Ah, I'm looking forward to it. Ah, here, a little something extra as a sort of gift. Because he also gives you some bread. Yay, walnut bread! Thanks a bunch! Walnut bread, that absolutely sounds disgusting though. Alright, little lady, give him your all! <laughs> Capitalism ho! <hell. laughs> well, Adam Smith would be proud of us at any rate. Adam Smith? I don't know who that is. I've never heard of Adam Smith. But yeah, I've got like a couple of uh, new series that I'm planning at the moment. Uh, one of which is this, obviously. Um, very well, it's time to give you a crash course on, running, on the basics of running an item shop. Now, I, I know this, but I don't want to skip it because, you know... First, we need to put some items on display. If we do not have our goods out for people to see, we can hardly expect the customers to buy them after all. So I just need to get the, near these counters? Just so... Uh, just so. Once you know where some, you wish to place something, choose what you wish to place in the spot by pressing the primary button, which is basically Z. Primary button? will understand when you try it, just breaking the fourth wall and getting away with it. Well done. <laughs> well done. Now remember, what you place will affect how people perceive the store, so think carefully before you place something. Right. So, are we going to get to do it? No. Why not play the bit bit? Okay, on the counters. Alright. All I know is the one by the windows, the counters by the... Can I move? Yes, I can. Okay, the ones by the windows, they're usually the ones that, you know, they're the ones that... I attract all the customers, and they're the ones that people will come in to buy for. Seth, may I speak with you a moment? Sure, what is it? Okay, yeah. Those windows by the counter. Items you place... Yeah, there we go, this is what they're saying. Basically, if you place items here, like, things will come... Like, people will see them and want to come in buying them, so you'll attract a different crowd by placing a different item at the window. So if you put bread there, people who are hungry will come in, like, you'll get the kids, like, if you place sweets and stuff, if you get items, you'll attract adventurers and stuff like that. Adventurers. And let's put this sword there, and there we go, that'll do. Like, for now, that's all, well, we also have the bread, I guess, so I'll put the bread there too. And there we go. Now we've put everything out, you know, that's all we can do. Alright, that should do for displaying our wares. <laughs> you sure it doesn't look dumb? I... <laughs> Do not worry, everything looks good enough for a first attempt. Now I need to teach you how to actually sell things. Please go and sit at the counter. Righto! Yeah, I get to go and sit at the counter, being a little, little thing. Yeah, if you come over to the counter, you can like press there, just right around here, and it'll just like do 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 do. I love this music. <laughs> so nostalgic for me. I'm getting a real rush back right now. Well then, the items are in place. And now you need to learn. How oh my God, what did I do? Sorry. <laughs> The item is in place. Now you need to learn how to actually sell things to people without embarrassing yourself. Okay, yo! That's Ohio! No. <laughs> so, to start with, I will lecture. Oh, God, lectures. Basically, yeah, uh, I'm gonna kind of skip through this because I don't want this to be too long. I actually want to get through the first day. Uh, right, okay. Yeah. Now then, when a customer enters, be sure to greet them with a nice big welcome! Uh, uh welcome! You know, shine my scent! <laughs> yes! Greeting the customer helps them to feel comfortable and relaxed while in the store. Their comfort is fundamental to our business. Remember that as we continue. Now, a typical customer will find an item they want on our displays and then they will come over to the counter to pay for it. Let me demonstrate. Can I get this, please? Er, uh, um, uh, ah. Uh. What they want will be the target window. You will also be able to see the name and base price. Please. Pay close attention to that base price. Also, if you press button 3, you can view expanded information on the item in question. Consult the custom.exe program included with rest here if you wish to check or alter the button configuration. <laughs> Wait, button 3? Custom. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall again. 
Focus, reset, your life is hard enough to control as it is. <laughs> yes, I love this game. It breaks the fourth wall so many times. Now then, next you must decide what price you wish to offer, in general. You want to try and name a price higher than the base. Try naming a price if you will, okay. Uh, let's see. Right, um, you likely not notice the okay. At least what I said, like what they usually say is you can get to 130% of the base price. 130% of the base price is usually as high as they'll go, but there are some circumstances where they won't pay that high. So normally you want to go like 124. Yes, very good. That is how you adjust your offer. As might be obvious, if a customer is satisfied with your offer, it is a sale and you get a little bit of experience along with the money. If your price is too high, however, your customer can simply walk out. Then to determine the proper price, there lies the challenge. Now if a customer disagrees with the price, but not so much that they want to storm out, then you can negotiate. Remember what I said about comfort earlier? That is the key here. Offer a price, but do not make it so outrageous that the customer feels you are not acting in good faith. Basically, if they... sometimes if they don't want to buy the item, they'll just be like, no, no, I'll pay, I'll give you this watch instead, love it, I'll give you that watch, and then, you know, like, negotiate and haggle with them. Usually, like what they say, it's 130% is the highest they'll pay for an item, and that's, like, the amount that you'll be getting that much. Yeah, and, uh, like, all they're talking about, about haggling and people not trusting you from the start, that's all valid things in here, like, literally, that all, they're all mechanics that you've got in the thing. Can I get this, please? Okay, first we start. Uh, we start with going like, go up to 133%, and we go. Normally it's like 125 the most I'll try with. Good, at this level a customer will likely buy immediately. Alright then, now for a fine art of haggling. Theoretically, what you wish to do is lower your price slowly, but as I mentioned, there is a limit to how long you can haggle. The idea is to deduce a customer's desired price and go from there. You say deduce? Okay. Large number of stores sell about. Yeah, we go. 130% of the base price is usually the highest they'll go. Sometimes people will try to. Like, sometimes people, you can sell for over that, sometimes you have to sell for under that. But you don't want to go, like, up and say, oh, I'll give me a million for this long saw because people won't buy it. Can you make the price a little cheaper? Okay, gotta make it cheaper. Let's go down to. 1480. There we are. Reducing the price to this level makes a sale likely. Well, that covers just about everything. Now let us put the entire lecture into practice all at once. If you can sell me an item, you will be ready for what lies ahead. Let us begin. Yeah, this is the only time you ever sell anything to Tia, because she's like a little weirdo. Welcome to Resetia! And she wants to buy this steel sword, so let's go up to 4,000 and bring it down to 3,900. Yes, an excellent price. There we go. Sold the item so quickly. And yeah, um... Oh, okay, I just sold you the damn item. Come on, I, 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 it shows that I'm ready. Hey, Welcome to Resetia! Oh, God. Okay, I know the steel sword. Let's just do it again. Let's just go up there, down, down. There we go. 3,900. Yes, an excellent price. Okay. Steel sword for 3,900 picks. Expertly done. If you wish to practice selling. I don't want to practice. Why would I ever want to practice selling? I could just sell things and get the practice from that. There we go. And that is essentially how it goes. You are good, quite good for someone who has never done this before. Yes, I am. <laughs> really? Well, actually, technically, I have done this before. Reset hasn't because Reset's a little bitch. Even though she's ten. And she looks adorable. But, uh, I don't even know. As the saying goes, salesmanship is more of an art than it is a science. You learn as you go. Now then, I will open up and go sit on the couch. Okay. Ooh, she's gonna open a shop and we're actually gonna sell some things. I hope so. I hope I don't drive away the customers. Oh, we got someone come in! She wants to buy the walnut bread, probably. Welcome, looking for something special, and she wants the walnut bread, of course. Who wouldn't want the walnut bread? Uh, let's go to 130 picks. No, I can't back down. Less, please. Okay, let's go to 125. There we go. Alright, I can accept that. There we go, and we've made some money. And, as you can see, the money goes straight into the merchant level, which levels you up. And there we go, we made first profit. Not even bad. Not even bad. For some reason, they always come in trying to buy the walnut bread, which is weird. Congratulations, you did well. Oh, I don't know. I sold stuff! <laughs> I sold stuff, like, to people. Oh my god. Yes, you did, Reset, you cute little bugger. Hey, Tear, I... I'm so happy. I, I get it, Tear! I get it! Papa, I get it! Yeah, we'll find out about what happened to her dad in a minute. Hopefully. I hope. 
and that's how we started running an item shop. There is like some Japanese text over it, but I, I don't want to keep that too high. I might change the settings up for a bit for the next one, but oh my god, come on, I'm pressing the freaking button, come on. Oh, you're wondering why we started an item shop at all? But yeah, the reason why these things take so long is because there's some Japanese, like, narration over the top of it, and it normally takes a lot longer to speak Japanese than it does English because of herpy derp reasons and things like that, so... Well, to explain that, you need to understand how Tia and I first met. And... I think... I may end this off here? I don't know, should I? You know what? No, let's keep going. I want to get all this done in one episode, so next episode I can just come straight in. There we go. Okay, and it's a coin. How lovely. Easy Game Station presents... Hurry up, please. Hurry up, please. A tale of a fairy. A girl. Bum, bum, bum. I don't even know. The only reason I actually don't hate these because like of the really poor transition time is because of the music that plays over. It's just so good. A tale of a girl, a fairy, and how to run an item shop. And it's funny because Reset's like, I don't know how she old she is, I think she's 10. And Tia's supposed to be like 20 and she's already like, Reset's already so much bigger than her. I guess that's what happens when you're a fairy. You don't exactly grow very big. That's what she said. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is very inappropriate considering I'm playing the game which has the protagonist as a 10 year old girl. But, you know. Let's see. Yep, the calendar says it's been three months since Papa left. I don't get why he suddenly said, I'm gonna be a hero! And then took off without saying that he need to be back. I really hope he's okay. I'm getting lonely. Well, I shouldn't worry too much about it. The best thing about him is how tough he is. He'll be okay. Really, though? Really? What? Bum, 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 bum. Papa wouldn't knock. Who is that? Who's at the door, is that? Hi! <laughs> yes, who is it? I'm at the door. Huh? There's nobody here. What? What? At my feet? And it's Taylor. Good evening. Um... You are Mademoiselle Rosette Lemongrass? Um... Uh, Miss Fairy? Pardon me, but I am the one asking questions. Again, you are Reset Lemongrass? Uh, uh yes, I I'm Reset. My name is Tia. I'm an agent of the Term Finance Company. Finance Company? I'm here to collect payment on a loan paid out to your father. Here is the contract and my identification. Uh... Loan? Repayment? I, I, uh... In plainer terms, I'm here to get our money back. If you're incapable of facilitating repayment, this house will be seized as collateral in order to repay the loan. F facilitating collateral? Seize? Yes. But I but Papa, Papa isn't. He is not here. Yes, I see that now. <laughs> Monsieur Lemongrass disappeared following a fracas atop the local volcano, so we've assumed he might have returned here. <laughs> I love the fact that there's a freaking... He, he went off to fight the dragon and he didn't return. That's literally it. Even if he is not, however, the contract covers this eventuality. Covers this... Quite. As the sole remaining member of this household, we shall require that you should pay his debts in his stead. But but that how am I supposed to I barely have enough money to live by myself. Naturally, we are not demanding it all to be repaid at once. There is still a small amount of time before any payment is due. Therefore Am I gonna get sold off in parts to distant foreign lands to repay Papa's debts? I wonder if I can survive with only two internal organs. Maybe if I eat a lot of spinach, that can replace my blood and Oh, but I don't want to be a sailor. What am I going to do? Yes, Popeye references. <laughs> Popeye the sailor man. Ahem, please listen to me for a moment. I have no clue where you're getting these ludicrous ideas from, but I would never do such a thing. Quite the opposite, in fact. I was sent here to ensure that you wouldn't have to resort to such, well, absurd methods to pay us back. But, but what? 
I have been sent to support you to the fullest of my ability so that you may repay the debt via labor. But the... What? But I've never worked a single day in my life. Experience has no bearing in this case. All that matters is whether or not you are willing to work. Aww. If you do not wish to work, then that is that. The house is terms, and I will have to ask you to leave the premises. As the saying goes, those who do not work do not eat. So, Miss Lemongrass, which will it be? Work or the house? What's she gonna do? I'll work then. Splendid! But, but I don't even know what I could do. Actually, I already have an idea on that front. You are aware that, of course, this city is an adventuring hub. In addition, this house faces out on one of those main city lanes. Therefore, I propose converting the house into an item store. Item store? Wah! Really? She gets surprised a lot, that's one thing I have noticed. But yeah, literally, because um, there's a lot of adventuring that happens near the city, that she decided that they'd completely turn the shop into an item store. And, you know, kind of works. It's one of those things. Reset? Where'd she go? She's disappeared somewhere. God, where are you going? Mademoiselle Lemongrass? Where is she going? What happened to her? I was only gone for a little while to do market research. Where could she have gone? Ha! <laughs> I'm being silly. Of course she fled. Why would she not? All I did was threaten to take away everything she ever knew and loved. Asking her to turn the house into an item shop was foolish. Even if it was going to repay the debt. The poor girl must be terribly confused. And on top of that, her father is probably... Aww. So basically she's lost her dad. Wait, outside? What are you doing with sir? Smack, 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 smack. <laughs> Yanus! It's the- oh, Yanus! Wow! Wow! <laughs> hey dear, it's done! Look! <laughs> hey dear, listen! Listen! Hey, listen! <laughs> That's what I imagine she's gonna be like. What is that? It's our shop sign, of course. Doesn't it look cool? You can't be a shop without one of these, you know. Yes, well, it is quite well made. However, hey, hey, I've always been good at making stuff. But that, as it may, well, well, the sign is nice. I, hmm? Huh? Is there a problem? Well, the name. Are you sh quite sure you've thought that through? And the name? Reseteer. Well, we're partners, right? You said so. You put reset and tear together and reseteer. Isn't it neat? Well, that is to say, the sentiment is commendable, but... It's the two of us opening the store, so the name should reflect that, right? You don't like it? Well, really, it is not that, but, well, that is... Ho! Oh, then it's decided! Reseteer Ho! Oh, Lord. Reseteer. Mispronounce it even slightly, and... Reketeer? Racket? This job is going to be more absurdly difficult than I originally suspected, I fear. <laughs> so basically, as you can tell, her dad's ran off one day to try and be a hero. And he didn't return, which is a shame because she, he's just left a little girl on her own. And she's having to live on her own and like... It turns out that he amassed like a massive debt. And this term finance company people are trying to take the house back. So to stop them from taking the house back, Tia the Fairy decided on this idea. And it worked. So, you know. Murd. Murd is like a weird thing they say. It's like it's like G's, but Murd, you know. It's weird. It's what I've noticed. How is it possible to sleep this much each day? How? Cause she's a little kid. Mm, Tia. What? Mm, let's do the very best we can. Aw, oh, she's so excited on opening this shop, it's adorable. Reset! Wake up! <laughs> Who's on the first? <laughs> I love that. Oh, dear, right, good morning! The clock does not have a good morning hand. Reset, you are the proprietor of an item shop now. You must learn to be responsible and not sleep the day away. <laughs> right. Why in the name of heaven are you smiling so much? That smile you had while sleeping is just getting bigger. Oh, no reason. I just think I saw something nice in my dreams. Dear, let's give it our all. Well, if you really are dedicated to making this work, wash yourself and meet me downstairs. 
Uh, will do. And there we go. I think that's everything. Yep, and we're in day two. So, you know what, guys? Before I actually get started into the gameplay, I'm just going to finish this off. And before we actually start the gameplay, I'm going to end it off there. So, there we go. Uh, yeah. So, I have an item shop and stuff. It's so cool and awesome. So, uh, what do I do now? That is up to your judgment. If you can sit at the counter, we can open immediately. Or we can reorganize the shop. Or we can even go to search for new stock around town or elsewhere. Yikes, that's a ton of options. How do I choose? It is as I said earlier. Running a place like this is more of an art than it is something you simply follow a map through. Simply pick something. We will deal with what comes. Well, okay. And can we move? And we can move. And you know what? I'm going to end it off right here. So, I, I know this isn't going to be the most exciting episode ever, but, you know, it's just there because I needed to get all the grindy stuff out of the way. And you, as you can see, she's, like, cleaning for some reason, but, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode, even if it is just, like, an introduction and a load of tutorials. But, yeah, what else can I do? But that being said, I've been Monty Bayonet, and I hope you stick around for the rest of this series because, trust me, this game gets so good. It's well worth sticking around for. So yeah, thank you for watching guys, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye guys.